Dirty Job Radio. I'll get back on the ham radio. Just went off at 8.24 p.m. February 9th. There it is, no modulation. So maybe the transmitter was uh, something screwed up. Weird input. Now we got a modem sound. I sound, I sound like a dial up modem. And they're back on again. 8.25 p.m. That's strange. This is a local AM station here in Mississippi that's freaking out. 6.40 a.m. Here's 650. So we're going to turn this down and go look at it on the spectrum here. Different radio. This is 5 kilohertz, that's 10 kilohertz. So it's transmitting plus or minus 5 kilohertz. This is set to AM. Sounds like something off of Star Trek. Let's go look here at turn down the squelch sound. It's sixteen twenty kilohertz. Top one should be this one that's seventeen hundred. Sixteen ninety. Sixteen eighty. Let's look at another one that's a healthy signal to see. Let's 
It's got modulation here all the way to 10. Actually, it's about 2 to 3. Going through, this is just with an antenna in a bedroom about 10 feet long with an antenna coupler here. Let's go a little bit higher here. This is probably. It's AM in the ham band. That's sideband. So that's the 160 meter band. I was listening to this, and this guy over here, that's the side line, that's AM. Hey, I'm using AM there on the 160 band. Really need an antenna outside. So I just traversed down here and found this. It's on the car radio, it's on the rigid radio, it's on everything in the house. Let's go look at a healthy. There's 1490. WGCM, Audubon Aquarium of the Americas in New Orleans, voted as a top five aquarium by USA Today, has an underwater seascape of mystery and majesty. That's a local station. criticized the iPhone saying that real phones need real keyboards. The Blackberry era is official. Got a lot of RFI in here. It's 96 kilohertz.
if I want to go listen to some hands on the uh, 80 meter band, we'll just go real quickly to hit three and a half. I'm going to adjust this to tweak this in some. Yeah, it's right nice. I, uh, I, I hadn't felt good. Uh, man, uh, uh, yesterday and day before, I, I felt like I was going to die and I was scared I wouldn't. I would hope it be, but you, the people wouldn't have to come from 2,000 miles away from This that. is lower sideband. There's no carrier. That has, might be a carrier right there. It might be some type of weird beacon. I don't know what that is. Get to five megahertz and pick up probably WWV. And I'll tweak this. Most noise. Band's been pretty bad tonight. It's in Colorado. Carrier is really the solid white line. 640 on here is like it's offset to represent USB.
tonight. It's time to give out our NBA Oscars on NBA Info. Just Linux out there because Intel's... <laughs> Adjusted the span there. Modulation, whatever it's doing, is symmetrical about the carrier. This side looks the same as this side. Around. Looks like it's got energy plus or minus 5 kilohertz of 1640. Notice with AM you can, this, you can be kind of off, it sounds about the same. Three kilohertz off. Go real narrow here. Push this in and it goes back to default. It's not an FM. It's 
ready RTTY. So this is what you're normally going to hear somebody tuning in with their car radio, home radio. went off at 8.24 p.m. February 9th. There it is. No modulation. So maybe the transmitter was uh, oscillating to something screwed up. Weird input. Now we got a modem sound. It sounded like a dial-up modem. And they're back on again. 